are you starting to build your fragrance collection or maybe you're looking to declutter your current collection this video is for you hi everyone i'm joan lima i always loved fragrances and this is my channel scented moments where we discuss everything about fragrances since 2018 and uh, so in this video i'm going to share with you some tips on how to build the perfect fragrance collection uh, and this is uh, uh, for you who are just starting or if you are decluttering your fragrance collection um i have many many fragrances a lot of fragrances um and i'm not decluttering anytime soon uh but i i just think that this is great just for you to have an idea uh on how to have like the perfect selection you don't need many you don't need over 500 fragrances uh at all not even over 50 or maybe even 10 i mean each one has different needs and so this video is just me sharing with you my thoughts on how you can look on how to build your your collection and even to declutter your collection because maybe there is a time when we have too many fragrances and maybe we don't need that many so also to help you like to select the fragrances that maybe you will need and that will be it so i have here 12 fragrances and what i will do is uh, i have here six categories and in each category i'm talking i will talk about two fragrances one niche one designer i mean i tried to select one niche one designer but in a couple of uh categories i will just include designer fragrances i have a couple of exclusive designers but in the end it's a great selection of 12 fragrances and that's it and maybe you you need even less you don't need even this much but let's now get started with the video so the first category is a signature scent uh it's basically a fragrance that represents you a fragrance that you can wear on a daily basis it's very versatile it's timeless and you will feel amazing every time wearing this fragrance for me what i would suggest in the designer side of things Technically, I have two designers, but I will get there. But the first one that I would highly suggest, at least for you to try, it is, of course, Dior Homme. And you see the huge dent in this bottle. Dior Homme is already a modern classic. Um, it's a masterpiece. It's all about iris, this powdery, makeup-y cacao iris uh, with musk and some woods. It's amazing. It was originally released in 2005, created by Olivia Polge. This bottle specifically, the Black Stam bottle, was reformulated by Francois de Machin in 2011. So this is the reformulated bottle. I never tried the original uh, 2005 version, which is uh, the Silver Stam, but I love this one since day one. I mean, it's so good. I mean, seriously, it's a fragrance that lasts. The projection is okay. I mean, it leaves a nice bubble around you and it's really a fragrance that if I would have one signature scent and only one fragrance to wear, it will be this one, Dior Homme. And this is the original, not the 2020 version. So yes, highly, highly advised for you to check this one out. A great signature scent worthy fragrance. The next fragrance within the category of signature scent is from Marc-Antoine Barrois and it is Ganymede. Now, technically, Marc-Antoine Barrois is a designer because he has a, a design atelier where he literally designed clothing. But, well, you can uh, argue that it's designer because of that. And that's fair. You can also argue that it's more of an exclusive fragrance. It's expensive, not readily available, just like in niche stores. Well, I mean, it's a very thin line, the difference between designer and niche nowadays. Um, but so... The other alternative and the other fragrance I would suggest you to have is this one, Ganymede. Uh, it's, I absolutely love it. It was created by Canton Biche and it's that type of fragrance that will mark an era. So you had the Aventus era. You currently, we still are in the Baccarat Rouge era as well. You have many fragrances heavily inspired by Baccarat Rouge, but more and more you are seeing uh, fragrances heavily inspired by this fragrance especially fragrances that were created by the same nose Canton Biche he loves his Akigala wood which is like basically a molecule from the patchouli 
and it has this sort of a metallic mineral ozonic feeling to it and here you have tons of that uh, feel and it also it opens up a bit of uh, fruity floral because it has osmanthus so it gives like a peachy white fl uh, yellow flower uh, type of uh, feel and then develops into a very watery ozonic slightly metallic uh, fragrance a bit leathery we have some violets and uh, saffron in here that maybe uh, helps to create this like leathery impression and then you have tons of akigala wood and you didn't have any fragrance that smell like this before ganymed great performance smells amazing one of my most complimented fragrances ever very versatile and you have the extra version i feel that the extra is very redundant to have and it's yes it's more powerful it's more intense but kind of misses as well the wateriness aspect of this fragrance and kind of as well misses the versatility uh, when comparing with you the parfum which is this one right here so between the two i would suggest you to go with you the parfum i think it's more likable uh the performance it's amazing still and it's more versatile so i will just go with you the parfum uh ganymed by marc antoine barrois a stunning stunning signature and worthy type of fragrance the next category of fragrances that you need to have to build a perfect fragrance collection is uh date nights fragrances for date nights for night outs uh, and I have here two fragrances and these are definitely one designer, one niche. And so in the designer side of things, I would advise you to go with Spice Bomb Extreme. Now I've been talking about this fragrance a lot. I love this one. It, this is all about cinnamon, tobaccos, uh, pepper, vanilla, and, and it has a balsamic nuance as well. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite from this uh, line. I also like the original Spice Bomb but i do prefer the bulgari's men in black which is basically a more intense and more leathery more mature version of spice bomb the original uh, and i have yet to try the i think it's dark leather uh, flanker so to this day i this is my favorite i absolutely love this one um great performance very addicting very mysterious and i think it's perfect Perfect for date nights and for night outs. It's a Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. In the niche side of things, it's one of my all-time favorite fragrances, especially for date nights. From the house of Maison Francis Courtian, it's Grand Soir. And you can see also the dent. I mean, I absolutely love this one. Uh, it's also one of my fiance's all-time favorite fragrances. Um, we uh, use this one both uh, so, and every time we are going to a more of a romantic, fancy dinner, we use uh, Grand Soir. Uh, it's amazing. And it's one of my favorite amber fragrances. Yeah, it's so simple. Um, it's not complex at all. It's basically all about benzoin, labdanum, of course, uh, some vanilla, some tonka beans. And basically, it's a, it's a very fluffy, soft... Um, amber fragrance like you're touching the clouds i always reference this is always the reference every time i smell this one it's literally like you're touching the clouds it's very fluffy has that fluffy coziness but still very sensual at the same time very addicting because it's still quite sweet but it doesn't overdo in the sweetness so yeah i absolutely love this amber it's a straightforward amber with some uh, tonka beans some resins of course but it's really for me one of the best embers ever created and it's so romantic so romantic i absolutely love this one it's one of those fragrances that i will always have in my collection so yes uh, for me Consoir, it's the reference in terms of romantic uh, type of fragrances from maison francis Courtion. now the next type of fragrances are fresh citrusy type of fragrances that will be perfect for summer and for the high heat and here i have two fragrances of course one niche one designer and the designer one is from the house of hermes and it is voyage d'hermes this is uh, one of my favorite summer fragrances it's a staple for me it's this one in chanel number no. five low uh but uh, this i will mention chanel later on in this video um but this one 
It is such a beautiful, very unique, fresh, citrusy, spicy fragrance. So you have here like lemon, uh, very sparkly, a bit salty with tons of cardamom. And if you go with the Parfum version of Voyage, which I have, but it's in Lisbon currently, it's even more overdose in terms of cardamom. It's basically all about cardamom and lemon. And I absolutely love it. Though the performance is better on this one, on my skin projects more and even though longevity it's slightly better uh, on the eau de toilette funny enough but uh, but yes i absolutely love this one this really smells like a boho chic uh, it gives me that feel with the white linen shirt and you are uh, like either enjoying the sunset catching some drinks with friends uh, you know it, it gives me that vibe that beachy sunset uh, but chic type of vibe it's uh, what I get from Voyage. I absolutely love it. And it's, again, very unique in my opinion. So, so yes, in terms of fresh citrusy fragrances, I would highly recommend you to check this one out, Voyage d'Hermes in the Eau de Toilette. And in the niche side of things, from the house of Frédéric Mal, Bigarat Concentré. I wore this one a lot in the last summer and even late spring. Absolutely love this one. Uh, my favorite citrus fragrance at the moment. It's all about this bitter orange. This was created by Jean-Claude Elena. And this is very similar to the now discontinued Terre Hermès Eau Très Fraîche, also created by Jean-Claude Elena. And it, that one was my favorite from the uh, Terre Hermès line. Uh, but of course, like always, our favorites are discontinued. Uh, but you have here a great alternative. It's very similar uh, to my nose. And it's, so it's all about this very zesty, energetic, yet bitter orange with cardamom, pepper, and you have some hay in here and musk. Absolutely love it. It's very energizing, uh, very happy very happy type of fragrance that screams summer and still very elegant in my opinion it's a very elegant citrus fragrance nonetheless i mean really for me the best citrus currently in my opinion my favorite at least from frederick mal it's bigarat concentré and it gets very musky in the base the performance on me it's actually quite good i mean i get solid six seven hours for citrus really good in my opinion in a high heat this performs the best um, so I highly advise for you to check this one out if you have yet to the next category of fragrances is that niche daring luxury type of fragrance that i think it makes a fragrance collection look amazing uh, and it gives more versatility and it's also these fragrances are great to use like in more upscale uh, formal events or just when you want to stand out in in general and so i have here two fragrances one niche and one more upscale luxury design of fragrance so i will start with the latter from tom ford from the private blend collection tobacco wood Oh, tobacco wood is something else. Uh, it's really that type of fragrance that everyone should smell at least once. It's one of Tom Ford's masterpieces. Um, tobacco wood, like the name implies, has tobacco and wood, but it's quite animalic to my nose. It's very furry and musky, and you, you get also like a very boozy nuance, like a whiskey nuance in the opening with a dry tobacco. I, I don't know if this has... I mean, maybe it has like some woodsy undertones, but it's very boozy, spicy, dark, heavy, but very mysterious, very gentlemanly type of fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's really one of my favorites from Tom Ford. Again, a masterpiece. Great performance uh, on my skin. Um, highly suggest you for you to try this one. It's uh, tobacco wood to have that more daring, rich, luxurious type of smell. From the niche side of things, from the house of Amouage, Interlude. One of my all-time favorites, not my favorite, my favorite being Jubilation 25, uh, the one for men. And, but this is my, my second favorite, possibly. Uh, I mean, but in the end, this is a masterpiece of a fragrance, one of the best fragrances from Amouage. It's a classic, and that's why they have like a flanker, black iris, and a high concentration in Interlude 53 which actually I have it on the way. And um, 
but I and I'm really happy with uh, interlude this version specifically you see that it's the previous bottle the previous formula of interlude um, the current interlude I think it says here uh, you have here like interlude written right below Amorge in front um, I don't know in terms of smell how it smells or how reformulated it was I actually don't hear much complaints so I believe or I would guess that the, in terms of smell and performance they didn't ruin the, the fragrance um, because when comparing with the complaints of, about the new formulation of Jubilation 25 then you will see that it's like a lot of people complain about it in terms of performance smell uh, but I don't hear the same negative feedback in terms of the recent current formula of interlude so again I will guess that it's fine this one it's amazing it's such an amazing fragrance and you see already it has it has a dent like it's literally like the liquid it's it's here and this is a very powerful fragrance you really don't need more than two sprays if you really want to go daring very daring, you can go with three sprays but you really don't need much to enjoy this one and it's so good you have a huge dose of oregano and the oregano here can be very daring and challenging for a lot of people i love it it's it has that herbal spicy unique quality that I never smelled in a fragrance uh, and it's very incensey, very dark, burnt, very resinous, woodsy. Oh, it's such a beautiful fragrance. It's a very meditative type of fragrance for me, but I love it. I, I actually, when I was working in the office in law firm, I wore this one a couple of times actually. Funny enough, everyone complimented me. And I just went with two sprays. I didn't even went with more. But everyone complimented me, actually. I never received negative feedback with this one. Even my fiance loves this one. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Because it has this sweet resinous nuance. But it's, again, very dark and heavy and gooey. With tons of spices and smoke, like burned woods. Oh, man, it's amazing. It's really amazing. And I love the 53 version, which... I have it on the way. Um, yeah, I'm really happy uh, with this. I'm really happy with the scent DNA, with this fern specifically. And I also love what they did with actually the, the, the extra version. It smells amazing. It's less harsh in the opening, but the DNA is there. The fragrance itself, it's there. I mean, it's really overall a fantastic, fantastic fragrance. So if you would have one niche fragrance for this category in terms of luxury smelling, daring, unique, definitely advise you to go with this already more than classic from Amouage interlude man and every collection needs a comforting snuggly type of fragrance that fragrance that you will wear in quiet nights where you just want to feel relaxed and feel a snug uh, and i have here two fragrances that transmit that and i have one more upscale designer fragrance and a niche one so in terms of the designer fragrance it's from house of hermes and it is ambre narguilé i absolutely love this one it's a masterpiece the best in its genre uh i, I do get like an apple pie vibe in of it actually oh it's so good cinnamon and definitely like an apple pie vibe vanillic ambery it's so delicious so cozy and a performance actually on my skin it's really good i have also parfum de marlis Orjan, which was the first fragrance uh, that i purchased in with it with this scent dna but i always wanted to have a brinagelin and finally added to my collection this year um and yes this is one of the best from hermes essence it's from it's where this uh, fragrance is from it's from the hermes essence line of hermes like the luxury upscale um, line of hermes and um and yes Ambrinagile, it's really something else it smells like christmas smells like holidays in general and it's very addicting and very sexy still very sexy although this for me screams like quiet nights but at the same time you can definitely wear this in date nights and you will shine it's Antonagile by Hermes and in the niche side of things it's from the house of Papillon Artisan Perfumes Bengal Rouge 
love love this brand love this fragrance and i already talked about this fragrance a lot uh bengal rouge it's all about honey it has one of the most beautiful realistic and mouth-watering uh, honey accords that i ever smelled with a sandalwood some opopanax and i do get a lot of cinnamon in here although cinnamon is not listed as an official note but i do get like a cinnamon bun out of this fragrance um and it's amazing you also have some vanilla tongue beans i mean it's a borderline gourmand it's a gourmand fragrance i would consider this a gourmand fragrance with also some rose in here oh yeah but i what i get the most is honey tons of honey with a cinnamon feel yeah and a bit of rose vanilla resins it's so beautiful such a beautiful fragrance i would consider it to be this like an elegant gourmand fragrance um, absolutely love it and it still feels very snugly very comforting um, I always every time I am wearing this one I know I will just stay at home enjoying my day at home or my night at home uh, because it really gives that sensation of calmness um, and comforting again absolutely love it highly advise to check this one out Bengal Rouge and also the entire line of Papillon Artisan Perfumes and last but by no means least, every fragrance collection needs a couple of classic fragrances. And here I have two from design, two fragrances from designer, major designer fragrance brands with a lot of tradition in perfumery. And so the first one is from the House of Guerlain, Mitsuko, because every collection needs a Chypre. And this is the Queen of Chypres. Uh, this is the Eau de Parfum concentration. You can go also with the Eau de Toilette. Uh, to have a more lighter experience or even the extra uh, if you want a more rich and intense experience but um, i absolutely love the other parfum version this is all about peach you have citruses you have bergamot of course you have everything that in the end builds a chypre fragrance you have this peach you have the oak moss uh, you have the citruses and you also have this rose the lang lang so it's very floral but still very intense and dense um, and elegant at the same time. I love Mitsuko. And this was uh, released in 1919. So it's been around for over a century. And I love this one to bits. Um, this was my entry level Chypre fragrance, although this is not my favorite Chypre. My favorite being from Amouage, it's Jubilation 25, Extrait that's uh, marketed for women, but yeah, that extra version specifically is long discontinued. Uh, but um, I highly advise to check this one out. I mean, the reference in terms of Chypres, again, very fruity with that peach, uh, lots of citruses, florals, rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, and with this uh, mossy vetiver smokiness in the base. Absolutely love it. Very complex. One of the best fragrances ever created, in my opinion. It stood the test of time, and it's one of those fragrances that you need to try at least once. Mitsuko by Garland. And last, but by no means least, the other classic fragrance that I would highly suggest for you to at least try from the House of Chanel, number five. And this is the Eau de Parfum, which was uh, released in 1986 by Jacques Polge. Uh, this was originally released in 1921. And this one, it was released previously as an Eau de Toilette. And I think uh, Eau de Cologne as well, if I'm not mistaken, uh, by Ernest Beau. And But this one is already, it's a, it's a timeless classic fragrance, uh, aldehydic bomb. And actually now aldehydes are back in fashion. You see that in Acne Studios by Frédéric Mal, by Patrouille Paris, by, uh, by Guerlain from the, their La Hela Mathieu collection. So it seems, and you have other uh, aldehydic uh, fragrances that were recently released. But this one is the reference in terms of aldehydes. I believe that this is very modern and very, ele very elegant. And unisex, uh, all fragrances are unisex, and this one is no exception. Um, yes, yeah, very creamy and aldehydic and sparkly uh, with some rose. You have rose here, you have uh, some jasmine. I do get like an indolic feel from it. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, love it, love it, love it. Um, great performance on my skin. Again, very elegant. 
and this is the type of fragrance that you all you need to try at least once uh, if not to have in your collection so chanel number no. five and the other parfum which is my favorite concentration my second favorite concentration my favorite being the parfum which i still have yet to add to my collection guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you find value in this video if you did so hit the like button subscribe uh, hit the notification bell and check out all the other fragrance content that i have and see you in the next video take care guys ciao